The scientific name for the turkey vulture is Cathardus aura, which means cleansing breeze is essentially what they do. They fly in, they clean things up, and they move on. From top to toe, the vulture is supremely adapted for eating dead things. They only eat carrion, they eat roadkill, they eat anything they can find. Their nares, um, or their nostrils, are straight through. You can see right through their nostrils, and that enables them to sample um, odor all the time while they're flying, and they cover about 50 or 60 miles a day looking and waiting for dead stuff. What's amazing about the turkey vulture is its ability to eat almost anything biological and not get hurt. Um, cholera, anthrax, botulism, E. coli, salmonella, rabies, they can eat it all, and by the time it reaches the back end, it's neutralized. So they absolutely do a fine job of cleaning up um, potential hazards to human health. Black vultures are a smaller breed that lives further south. They are more aggressive. If something's teetering on the edge of life, they'll push it over the edge. Turkey vultures will sometimes hang around in the background, wait for them to kill something. They get implicated, unfortunately, in some of this, and farmers tend not to like them. But generally speaking, turkey vultures do not kill prey. They are federally protected, just like a hawk, owl, or eagle, or any uh, of, our, of our native species. Uh, they're protected by the Migratory Bird Treaties Act, so no, no one's allowed to harm vultures. Just observing them, just uh, letting them be is usually the best thing. They are not dangerous, they are not going to hurt you or your pets, they are not going to hurt your livestock, um, and it's important just to let them do their job because they really have an important place in the ecosystem.